This video is about boosting your FPS and fixing stutters in Battlefield 6 RedSec, the ultimate optimization guide to help you get smoother gameplay, faster frame times, and more responsive performance. We'll be going through powerful tweaks that make a real difference. No gimmicks, just pure performance tuning. Let's get started. All right, let's start by disabling power throttling. This feature limits your CPU performance to save power. It's great for laptops, but terrible for gaming desktops. We're going to disable it completely. Here's how to do it. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard. Type gpedit.msc and press enter. Inside the local group policy editor, click on computer configuration, then administrative templates, then system, and then click on power management. Now open power throttling settings. Double click turn off power throttling, select enabled, then click apply and OK. That's it. You've just unlocked your CPU's full performance. But remember, if you're using a laptop with poor airflow or weak cooling, skip this tweak because it can increase temperature a bit. Next, let's disable something called HPET or High Precision Event Timer. It's a background timer that can cause input delay and lower FPS, especially in Battlefield. Follow these steps. Press Windows plus X and select Device Manager. Scroll down and expand System Devices. Find High Precision Event Timer. Right click on it and choose Disable Device. When Windows asks for confirmation, click Yes. And we're not done yet. To fully turn it off, we'll also use Command Prompt. Press Windows plus S and type CMD. Right click on command prompt and choose run as administrator. Type this command and press enter bcdedit slash delete value, use platform clock, close command prompt and restart your PC. After this, your input delay will drop noticeably. Your mouse movement and aiming will feel much snappier in Battlefield 6. Now it's time for the most effective part of this entire guide, the Battlefield 6 FPS Optimization Pack. This is where the real performance gains happen. The download link is in the description, and once you open it, you'll find multiple folders, each designed to target a specific performance bottleneck in your system. Inside the pack, you'll see folders like CPU Priority, Disable Services, Battlefield 6 Priority, Performance Power Plan, RAM optimization and park control. Every single tweak here has been tested and fine-tuned for gaming, especially for heavy CPU-based games like Battlefield 6. Let's start with the CPU priority folder. If you're using an AMD Ryzen processor, open the AMD folder. If you're using Intel, open the Intel folder instead. Now, run the registry file that matches your CPU. This tweak changes how Windows handles CPU scheduling. In simple terms, it tells your system to give Battlefield six top priority for processing power. That means smoother frame pacing, reduced stutters, and more consistent FPS during explosions, gunfights, or crowded multiplayer matches. Next, open the Disable Services folder. Here you'll find registry files that disable unnecessary Windows services like Xbox game, DVR, Bluetooth support, telemetry tracking, and other background services that constantly use CPU cycles. If you don't need these features, run the registry files to disable them. This simple step cuts down background usage dramatically, freeing up more CPU power to focus entirely on Battlefield 6. Now open the Battlefield 6 process priority folder. You'll see three files, normal, above normal, and high priority. Go ahead and run the high priority file. This ensures that every time you launch Battlefield 6, Windows automatically gives it maximum CPU focus. The result? More consistent frame times, smoother performance, and fewer dips during high intensity gameplay. It's like telling Windows, hey, Battlefield comes first. Next, let's go into the Performance Power Plan folder. Run the Import Ultimate Performance Plan registry file. Then search for power options in your Windows search bar and select the ultimate performance plan. What this does is disable all power saving limits on your CPU and GPU, ensuring both components run at their maximum potential while gaming. It helps eliminate power fluctuations and boosts frame stability, which is critical for shooters like Battlefield 6 where every millisecond matters. Now, open the RAM optimization folder. 
you'll see files for 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, and 64 gigabytes setups. Pick the one that matches your system and run it. This tweak optimizes how Windows manages memory according to your RAM size. It reduces background paging, lowers micro stutters, and improves consistency, especially when loading new textures or assets in Battlefield's massive maps. And finally, open the part control folder and install the tool. Once installed, open it and make sure core parking and frequency scaling are both disabled. This keeps all your CPU cores active and ready, preventing Windows from idling some of them to save power. With all cores awake and working, Battlefield 6 runs smoother, frame delivery improves, and input response feels much tighter. Now that the pack is applied, let's finish with a few important Windows optimizations. First, disable core isolation. Search for core isolation in the Windows search bar, open it, and turn off memory integrity. It's a security feature, but it adds latency and can slow down CPU response times. Turning it off frees up overhead and helps your game run smoother, especially on lower end systems. Next, open game mode settings and make sure game mode is turned on. This tells Windows to prioritize your games, giving them more CPU and GPU resources while cutting background tasks that don't matter. And that's it. Your system is now fully optimized for Battlefield 6. Alright guys, now in the final and the last step, let's jump straight into the in-game graphics settings for the best performance and smoothness possible. First things first, make sure your graphics preset is set to custom and the quality is also on custom. Camera settings are mostly personal preference, but one thing you should always do is set your field of view, FOV, to the maximum. Next, let's talk about visual clarity. Turn world motion blur off. It just makes everything look smeared during movement. Same thing for camera shake and film grain. Disable both. Also, reduce camera bobbing for a more stable and cleaner view while moving around. Trust me, once you play without motion, blur and shake, your aim feels way more consistent. Now let's move into the actual graphics quality section and I'll show you what I found to be the best competitive settings. Start with texture quality, set it to low. Same for texture filtering, keep it low as well. Next is mesh quality. This controls how detailed objects like trees, rocks and small debris look in the distance. You can keep it on medium if you like a bit more detail, but for pure performance, low or medium is the sweet spot. Then we have rain quality. I personally set this to medium or high. You don't want the game to look like a potato, so keeping rain at medium keeps visuals nice without sacrificing much performance. Undergrowth, vegetation, small rocks, and similar details should all be set to low. These don't affect gameplay and just waste performance. Same for effects quality, volumetric lighting, and all those extra lighting options. Keep them low for a cleaner, faster game. Now for the local light and shadow quality, this one hits your GPU and CPU hard. Also set sun shadow quality to low. For shadow filtering, I recommend PCF. It gives a smoother, softer shadow look that's less distracting. Reflections, screen space reflections and post-processing should all be low or off. They don't add much to gameplay and just eat frames. Ambient occlusion, AO and global illumination. GI. Turn both off. They only affect the lighting depth and won't help you play better. The high fidelity object amount controls how detailed characters and vehicles appear. If your CPU and GPU can handle it, you can keep it high for immersion. But if you're on a low end system, set it to low. It saves a lot of performance and the difference isn't that noticeable during gameplay. Now, make sure brightness is around 60 and sharpness is enabled. This adds some extra clarity without hurting performance. Resolution scale should always stay at 100% if you're on 1080p. Frame rate limiter. Turn it off to unlock your full FPS potential. Dynamic resolution scaling, also off. Enable NVIDIA Reflex low latency mode and set it to enabled plus boost for the lowest possible input delay. For anti-aliasing, use TAA if you want the best performance or DAA for slightly sharper edges and better visuals. 
Avoid frame generation. It adds fake frames using AI, which increases input lag and ruins responsiveness. If you like monitoring performance, you can enable the performance overlay to check FPS, frame time, and latency in real time. That's it. After applying all these optimizations, restart your PC and launch Battlefield 6. You should notice smoother frame times, reduced stuttering, and a noticeable FPS boost, especially on low and mid-end systems. If this guide helped you get better performance, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and comment your FPS results below. And don't forget, you can grab the full Battlefield 6 optimization pack from my Discord link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.